Hi, so this week we are going to talk about what we've done in Concompa so far. Um, we've been here for five days now, five days. Um, so we got to the bus station um, from Tampara and <laughs> we met our tutor Emma and her boyfriend there. Um, and so we, we have a lot of luggage um, because we're, we're here for five months and yes. we're also girls. Yeah, and I like clothes, so yes. Um, so we get there, and we see that her boyfriend has a very small car, very small car. Um, so we are <laughs> we're attempting to fit everything in the car, and we decide that that's not going to happen. Um, so I don't know. Were you sitting on my lap, or was I? It just would, no, I I had a suitcase on top of me while sitting next to a suitcase. Uh, Yes. And then we're going next to me and also had a suitcase. And then we had her, ha like, uh, Emma was sitting in the passenger seat and she had a suitcase. And there was one by her feet and there was one in the trunk. There was literally suitcases everywhere. I couldn't really close the door for a while until I, like, broke the side of me slamming <laughs> the door. Into me <laughs> in between Morgan and a suitcase and it was good. Yeah, it was so fun. Um, but um, we made it. So it's fine. Yeah, after being a little lost because um, they didn't really know where a dorm was. But we found it. Um, so then we got into our dorm building, okay, and we live on the third floor. And there's no elevator, so we also had to carry the luggage <laughs> up three flights of stairs. I'm such and it a doesn't weak start person. on the first floor, it starts on the ground floor. <laughs> I'm such a weak person, and we found that out that moment. <laughs> Those were the worst three flights of stairs I've ever experienced in my so entire awful. life. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the problem was that most people had smaller, like, so there was five of us, um, and they had smaller <laughs> luggages with them, and then I had my extremely heavy suitcase. I was suitcase. carrying three, so um, it was awful. Yeah, and everyone was going so fast, and we we looked stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, it was so fun. So then we get into the actual apartment, okay, and... Um, our dorm in America is an extremely nice dorm. Um, it kind of looks like a hotel because it was just newly built and they wanted it to look like a hotel. So, yeah. Um, so, this one looks very uh, traditional dorm life. Yeah, the yeah. building itself is probably around, like, 40 or 50 years old. Um, so, it's not new by any means, but it's a pretty nice apartment, I think. It is. Um, they came with, a, like, a kitchen area and uh, we share a bathroom and a shower and and whatever and we have a you know two beds and a closet so it's not that bad yeah it's a nice dorm um so we are the only people here so in far. the entire building in the entire building so it has been a little creepy just knowing that we are completely alone um but the water system always makes noises and uh, you can hear a lot of stuff here um so <laughs> Fun story. We decided to move around the furniture in our dorm. Um, so we moved the beds and we moved the closets and everything like that. And we found out that the people living here before us one, left it off the wall uh, and then moved it. So we technically moved it back, but we yeah. might have ripped the wall even more. But it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. um, they were also not very clean people whatsoever because we spent a good like two hours cleaning, cleaning. the tiny dorm. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. But they left a lot of like silverware in place and cups, so it was nice to not have to buy everything, but we still had to stock up with a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Um, so we decided... There, whenever we walked in the first time to our dorm, there was a random table in the middle of... <laughs> our room because um, we share a room and then there's a room connected to the kitchen area um other than ours it's over there um that's empty right now that has two more beds in it um so we tried to open that door and it opened so we were like yay you know that's cool yeah, and they didn't have a table they had a bookcase and a desk and yeah. a lot nicer stuff so we might have we took it all of the stuff out of the room um yeah. but we put the bookcase and the desk in our common like kitchen area so yeah that so in here all of us can use it and we moved the table out of our room so it felt a little more like homey and stuff um and we, we spent, think that that's where they were supposed to go but the people before us moved it yeah um but so we made a mistake of closing the door you Morgan told me closed the door. she I told me to closer. close the door no, so we closed the door and it automatically locks okay <laughs> um but we forgot to turn off the light we? 
You also <laughs> forgot to turn off the light. I didn't close the door. So anyways, the light was on, and so was the window. The window was open. So it was not only cold coming from there, but it was also creepy to have a light on uh, when nobody was there and we couldn't get into the door. And um, since the window was open, the door would, like, kind of rattle all the time because of the air pressure differences, I guess. Um, so we decided that there was a ghost in there. Um, and his name is Gary. <laughs> he makes a lot of noises. <laughs> he he um, makes a lot of noises. And we tried to go to the office to kind of check in, um, but it took two days for them to actually be there and everything. <laughs> um, so we lived with Gary for a little while, and we tried to figure out stuff. In the meantime, we spent a lot of time, like, redecorating and getting the stuff that we need to survive. In We've grocery dorm. shopped so much. Yes. We do not know how to accurately grocery stop the shop. problem is that we need so much stuff and we don't have a like big enough fridge to hold all of it so we need to shop pretty often in order to not just have random stuff everywhere um, we're learning how to cook so well yeah um, we don't have an oven or anything but we're learning um so we did a lot of that and we finally got to the office and checked in and um the it guy who set up our wi-fi um he's was really nice too nice enough to call the maintenance person who showed up actually today at um, 9 a.m while we are um, not used to the time change yet. Yeah. Um, so I, I talked to him this morning, and by talked, I mean I just stared at him because he spoke absolutely no English. He was just screaming in Finnish. Yeah, um, and I and just kind of pointed kept to saying... the windows because the windows were open, and he had the key to the window. Um, so he closed the window, so it's been a little warmer in here, and that was pretty nice. We tricked him into opening Gary's room <laughs> <laughs> so that we could turn off the light. Yeah, he didn't notice. Or if he did, I mean, I didn't know what he said, so honestly, <laughs> so it's, it's fine. fine. Um, it's fine. Hopefully yeah, it's we spent a, um, a little while getting to know the town, trying to find the layout. We only got lost, like, once for like three hours, but I mean, we eventually... It was only back. the first day that we were here right after our Yeah, we had tutor. never gone there and back. We just went there, and we got lost on the way back. Um, yeah. Our tutor asked us, are you sure you know how to get back? And we said, of course of we course. did. We um, didn't know We didn't know. So, yeah, <laughs> and then my phone died, which had the address to the yeah. um, to the apartment. Yeah, right. and uh, Google Maps doesn't really know how to get around um, Concord Falls, especially walking. Um, but we've tried a lot of, like, different things here, and... Um, our favorite place to eat right now is Hess Burger, um, which is really good, and it sells mostly, like, burgers and yeah. um, fries and stuff like that, so it's really good, um, but it's not typical for a Finnish person to eat out a lot of the days, so they kind of look at us strange whenever we go in there four days in a row, but um, <laughs> it's really good, and we're getting used to cooking food here and getting more stuff, because it's hard to find things in a grocery store when you can't read what's on the label, um, so that's Today. why it takes us a long time. Yeah. We think that we're good after leaving the grocery store because we'll be in there for three hours. <laughs> and then we think it's also so cheap because it's less than $100 after we're done. And then we realize that we have nothing. <laughs> we forgot everything. <laughs> or we can't find everything or they don't sell what we're looking for. So we're still kind of adjusting to the different foods and everything. Um, the grocery... Um, like stalker guy at the store that we went to today asked us in English. He said, uh, "Do you guys need help with anything?" And we said, "No, we're good." You and know. He said, "Can you read that?" Because we were kind of standing there holding something, and he said, "Can you read it?" And we were like, "No." No, but there's a picture. There's so a picture. Right. Um, and then we might have walked around for an hour, and then went back and asked him questions because we still didn't know what we were doing. Um, but it's getting better. Um, I think we're adjusting better. We're getting more on the same time zone, um, and we have until Monday, I guess. Um, I think Monday will be the first day that we're on the same time zone. Yeah, <laughs> um, but it's been pretty, and we use our few hours of sunlight um, to go grocery shopping because <laughs> it's really dark right now. Um, yeah, what time is it? Yeah, it's 10. So, it's 10 here right now, so it's been dark for about seven, seven hours. hours. Um, um, yeah, we don't really go outside, and it's really cold, um, but so you just cold. gotta get used to dressing um, in 500 layers, and then whenever you go inside, immediately take, take the layers off. Because it is very hot inside, but it is very cold outside. Um, but I think in general, we're getting used to um, Finland, and yeah. we're excited to start school on Monday, and we'll share all about our new experiences with the school. Yeah, all the art. Yeah. So, see you guys then, I guess. <laughs>